and I get starting to get tired and uh, I'm so proud and uh, excited to be here to present our talk about uh, EB questions as how we will be powerful. Uh, because we are from uh, Dhaka in South China, so I'm so excited to be here. It takes about uh, five, five hours flight to be here, so any cost will be able to do it. I'm Zulan, I'm from Dhaka, and uh, I'm a senior tech lead, and this is my uh, colleague. Hello everyone, I'm Song Yin, a product manager from Dotlot. I'm glad to be here uh, to talk to you guys face to face. So now let's get started. Uh, as I'm only a uh, part of virtualization technology, allows a single physical function to be tested into multiple virtual functions. It has part a person load network stack to communicate in the underlay network. Same I such as MVLAN, SROV, and IPVLAN can be used as underlay CMI solution. And they have several technical advantages. Uh, firstly, commanders can directly connect to the host network, even enabling layer 2 network communication. Secondly, the containers copy do not, do not need to through the host uh, network. Uh, Therefore, compared to overlay CMI, it reduce the host CPU overhead. Improves network performance and the lowers network latency. The packet forwarding path is simple, so there is no need to maintain some rules uh, for the connectivity of making the routing easy. Finally, the only the signals that could uh, provide RDMA device for containers. The host of the CNI has some unique application scenarios. With some traditional host applications are expected to migrate to Kubernetes. It has to fulfill the need of the original network communication phase, such as VLAN isolation, fixed IP address, and five-way security based on IP address. This way and other underlying CNI to the certified base at low cost. Uh, similarly, there are also very intensive applications, such as Redis for high demand for network performance and the fixed IP address. Underlay CMI is a cost effective option. Uh, similarly, the AI infrastructure SRV is an optimal solution to provide RDMA device for rookie and the InfiniBand. It can offer eight container exclusive, exclusive, exclusive RDMA device, uh, delivering amazing network transmission performance. Uh, the student, uh, in many cluster scenarios, all containers can be connected in the underlay network, even from projects uh, like uh, Submaria or Cilium, which requires complex control plane and the data plane to achieve connectivity. This approach simplifies troubleshooting, improves reliability and the ensures the network performance. Currently, uh, 
the GPU layer uses on chip on CPUs on the open VSV to offload the network function. To do that, this CNI solution also provides a software interface for containers. Well, currently, the community has several open source projects centered around SROV, each addressing different aspects of functionality. Also, we are still some defects in this ecosystem to totally meet the production needs. We start with basic IPAM CNI and we can work on the complex IP allocation requirements. Critically, it currently lacks the IP regulation mechanism, so don't be IP wastage and the IP conflict may put in abnormal scenarios. Since the SROV interface forward packets with a passing node, there is no reference support that could uh, Implement the service, network policy, or net security for SRV. Over the past five years, ADGF technology has gradually become one of the biggest innovations in Linux and Kubernetes, offering new features in areas such as networking, security, testing and the observability. Celia is a prime is a prime example of an open source project based on ABPF technology and has been a driving force in the maturation of ABPF over the past decade. ABPF offers some striking features that follows. First of all, performance. ABPF programs execute in the link, Linux kernel, minimize complex switches and uh, data copies. This results in significantly low overhead compared to traditional user space applications. ABPF uh, can, uh, ABPF can easily communicate with user space applications through mechanisms like uh, Max, Max and uh, Pray for events. This enables you to create custom tools and uh, dashboards to visualize and control your system. Uh, the Robust uh, uh, kernel security. When it gets dynamically loaded into the kernel, they are subject to interrupts, verification, and uh, safety. For example, a PPS verified file ensures that ABPF program are well formed and cannot cause kernel crashes. Privileges, admin, and ability to execution environment further improve the security of ABPF programs. Uh, the next similar upgrade, ABPF can be updated on the fly without requiring a system reboot. This means it is a little cost to upgrade ABPF for new features of the bug fix. So, the fifth control uh, one runs as well, and the ABPF will introduce the internal V5 version. ABPF can be compiled once and run on different lineage. Distribution and kernel version. Finally, a platform independence. ABPF 
are generally not tied to specific CPU architectures, making them highly productive. Okay, thank you, Ziyin. And uh, I will talk about uh, how EPF help uh, SLB to uh, implement this. And uh, <coughs> in latest, latest, latest kernel version, there are nearby uh, 40 cans of EPF programs, uh, along with dozens of uh, attached, attached methods. As community demand evolves, uh, more EPPI functionalities are being integrated into the Linux kernel and appears in various uh, open source projects in Kubernetes. Uh, an EPPI program named uh, C Group Stock Adjust uh, enable network adjust translation between C Group. Uh, when user space program uh, make network system calls such as connect. Uh, or send a message. Uh, the group EPPF program can implement uh, adjust the resolution in real time. But this functionality first appears in Celia. Um, okay. Uh, as we know, uh, to implement the service in Kubernetes, there are many two general uh, solutions. In the open source community, uh, first, uh, we know the traditional project uh, uh, proxy is currently the most uh, widely used. Uh, in principle, Kruproxy uh, success to implement the service only if uh, the container packet uh, goes through the node. And uh, the Kruproxy uh, does not work with CNI based on open research. Uh, uh, EBPF data pass or SLV. The advantage of Krupox is that it could work uh, almost on any Linux kernel version. Uh, however, in old kernel, the uh, Lexi Habitables mode um, has a couple of uh, issues about the performance and the functionality, uh, and IPVS mode also has some limitations. In a reasonable, in, re in kernel uh, version 5 onwards, uh, IPVS and uh, NF tables uh, mods uh, perform well. However, uh, I figure it's uh, such a pain to debug uh, IP tables rules for uh, troubleshooting a complex uh, network issue, uh, along with lots of irrelevant uh, streams uh, flowing in the node. So the second one, second solution uh, is uh, the another technology uh, implement implementing service is is the uh, state group EBPF. <coughs> uh, the typical project is Celia, uh, where the which has gone through stages named uh, most reachable service and uh, from socket based load balancing. Uh, subsequently, uh, Calico also implemented similar functionality. The main the advantage of C group EPPF is high performance. Uh, 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 service, uh, the resolution occurs during the containers uh, network uh, uh, system call. Uh, in addition, there's uh, a strong um, um, and capability, uh, it could work along with any uh, thing I, uh, as long as the Linux kernel version meets the EBPF uh, requirements. Uh, uh, this figure uh, demonstrates uh, the principle of service implementation with EBPF, EB, the group of EBPF, uh, proxy agent. Uh, runs on each node and uh, synchronizing service data from API server. Uh, it uh, upgrades the IP address of uh, service and endpoints to the eBPF uh, map in real time for the further uh, reference of uh, eBPF program in the kernel. When a client application in a pod wants to validate a service, 
the stable VPF will be checked by a system call such as connect or send message. Uh, it varies uh, the EVPF map and uh, transparently uh, translate the service address uh, requested by the application into uh, the destination uh, endpoint address. Then a new entry will be generated uh, in another EVPF map for further reverse NAD uh, office session. By the way, the value of the service session affinity is uh, a client IP, then the service uh, uh, will be consistently uh, loaded to a uh, same uh, backend address. Uh, when a client application in a port makes a phone call like uh, the receive message, uh, get peer name, uh, the system of EVPF will parse the session resolution map uh, uh, and perform reverse uh, net on the source IP of the uh, reply packet, uh, converting it back to the uh, service IP uh, address. So this ensures that uh, throughout the, the session, uh, NAT and unNAT uh, options are transparently uh, handled by the client side application uh, for the app client side application. Um, during the above process, the EVPI program can transmit the logs uh, to the user space program via a, a, a event uh, EVPF map. So that makes makes that makes uh, it uh, very convenient uh, for chasing. <coughs> Okay, let's introduce our program named the SpyPol. So, okay, then let me introduce SpyPol to you guys. Uh, SpyPol is a safe sandbox project included uh, in contributed, in contributed uh, by our team. Uh, Payment an all in one solution for AI infrastructure and underlay CNI. It could run on any environment such as parameter, virtual machine, and the public cloud. Spark Workplace really focuses on building a comprehensive solution for multi VLAN, SROV, and IP VLAN. There are features such as large interface, IPAM service implementation, dual stack, IMA, ABPF, Congress Gateway, and the metrics. On the other hand, it also implements the secondary network link to solve other projects such as Calico Cilion and the Kubeworld. At the very beginning, Spike Pool and fulfill the needs of underlying CNI required by our custom. Advanced AI in always. Spike Pool is so perfect to fulfill AI needs. But today, we just introduced the part how Spike Pool could effectively enhance the SROV to implement the service. We are interested in uh, welcome to join our community. Okay, thank you, Zi. Uh, in this slide, uh, this shows how Spyro helps SROV to implement uh, service. Uh, in the right figure shows how exactly SpyPo achieve LACO. Um, on the one hand, SpyPo could help uh, uh, implement the service by group factory. Uh, as we know, the VF in the container and the PF on the host may not be able to communicate with each other uh, when they join to different uh, uh, subnets. Uh, therefore, uh, in order to uh, direct the policy 
service request to go through the, 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 the signal available um, established and additional virtual Ethernet interface to connect the container and its node without assigning any IP address. In addition, Spidepole applies some policy routes in the container to, to uh, direct the service request to the node via this virtual Ethernet interface and applies uh, policy route in the node to uh, uh, route the service repeat back to the port uh, via this uh, virtual Ethernet. Uh, on the other hand, uh, when the kernel uh, meets the eBPF requirements, the state, the state group eBPF could uh, impl implement service uh, prior to capacity. Uh, this service request, the service request uh, will be prioritized to be resolved with, with, within the policy group and uh, stand out. Uh, directly through the SRV interface. So according to relevant uh, tests, uh, compared to Krupp's way, uh, the eBPF approach uh, can decrease the network latency uh, by up to 25% uh, and increase network throughput uh, <coughs> uh, by up to 15%. Currently, Spidepole leverage Lycelium to implement the C group eBPF. At the same time, it's a, a lightweight deployment. Uh, Spidepole is developing its own eBPF component to replace this functionality uh, implemented by Cilium. So, this is the set of stock perf. Uh, measurement on environmental, it is used uh, class IP as destination address for two internal uh, ports uh, in a thing under the subnet. I show in the slide when Spidepool used proxy to implement a service for SRV, the perf uh, latency is 36 uh, microseconds. Uh, slightly worse than uh, 32 microseconds the uh, performance between hosts. When Spark will use C group eBPF to implement uh, service for SRV, the dog perf latency is 27 microseconds, better than the latency between hosts. In addition, we also test the calico, calico perform a uh, bad bad latency when running uh, running in IP tables, data pass and uh, native routing without uh, uh, establishing any uh, tunnels like uh, uh, VX, VX line or IP, IP, IP. Uh, In addition, uh, <coughs> performs better than, uh, than the latency between hosts when running in eBPF data pass with uh, native routing and uh, enabling all eBPF acceleration. So uh, in brief, the result implies that the C group eBPF uh, service implementation uh, provide, provides the best uh, latency performance. Um, <coughs> uh, uh, instead of network throughput uh, measurements uh, based on radius get operation. Uh, as shown in the figure, when Spiderpool used the C group eBPF uh, to implement a service for SRV, uh, we can see that the RPS performance uh, come to the best. So, this is everything. Uh, in brief, uh, Spiderpool implements an all in one solution for AI infrastructure and analysis. Uh, helps them implement all features required by uh, popular demands. So, uh, if you are interested in, in Spiderpole, I think that is a very, uh, inter uh, very interesting and uh, good uh, community 
to, to welcome everyone to, to give our uh, feedback. Uh, we can involve together, uh, the, uh, the Spiderbot can involve ally with uh, kinds of customs uh, needs and requirements. And uh, thank you again. Thank you, guys.